So we're doing a little service work on the Magnum and we have the hood off because the other day we were hauling manure and Earl swung around with the skid loader and the front corner of the skid loader bucket punched a hole right in the front of the hood of the tractor. So we found a guy that can fix it. So we pulled the hood off to take it up there. I'm gonna run it up there now. And, uh, but we thought while we had it apart here, we might as well do some service work, change the oil, put new filters on, and we have plenty of access with the hood off. Good old A3 Cummins, baby. That's a legend in the diesel world right there. So I'll show you this, look at this. Right there, we took a hit with a skid loader. But the amazing thing is, we didn't even break the light. It hit right, right in there. Just broke that corner out. So we're gonna see if they can get it fixed up so we can uh, get the grill back together. We don't have a hole in the front. There's the culprit. <laughs> this is a pretty good hit, actually. Clean break. Yeah. <laughs> Precision chop. That's how you do it. Didn't break the headlight. Didn't hit the didn't rest hit of, the the, of the grill or the hood. <laughs> so when this first happened with the hood, we were looking around a little bit, thinking maybe we could find a used part. So the great thing is, is that it's just that upper grill part on on the Magnum that got damaged. Um, it's not the hood and it's not the headlights. And so I thought, oh, maybe we could find a used a used upper grill around, but it seems like it's pretty hard to find good used body parts for those, those tractors. They are pretty sought after. And so if there's one that's in half decent shape, um, people gobble that up pretty quickly. So anyway, we couldn't really figure out a used option. There is a new option. There's an aftermarket company that sells that, that part um but it's unpainted and it's like fifteen hundred dollars for that one part so seemed like a lot and then we have to paint it still so um we were just trying to look for some other options and uh there's a family actually we got to know uh at school and he runs a body shop and we were chatting one day and i said hey can you do fiberglass work and he said yeah sure so we're gonna take it up to the body shop here and see what they can do um and hopefully we'll get her all patched up. We're almost out of fuel. Ah oh, man, just debating if I can make it there and then get fuel or if we need to stop on the way. I think we could probably make it. All right, got it dropped off. See what they can do. We made it. Just stopped. It seems like a bummer that they have this credit limit, credit authorization limit, because you just take it out and scan it again and keep pumping so i'm not sure what the value of that is but it's kind of annoying when you're pumping diesel especially Somebody lost some grain out there. That's not good. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Saturday morning. Yeah. Calf feeding time. Kaylin is the only one around this weekend. She's gonna get to see what it feels like to be an only child. 
The other three are on a youth group retreat. You had one on your youth group retreat a couple weekends ago. They, She's in the senior high youth group. The other kids are in the junior high. So, Kaylin's helping this morning yep. with feeding the calves. Your farm strong. <laughs> I will help you. Nice. Oh, <laughs> I hate when I do that. Yeah. I'm gonna get right into you. Kaylin's a little bougie. I'm not bougie. <laughs> She's gonna drink coffee while helping you the You offered. Guests. I know, I offered. Because here's the thing. Usually they don't help Saturday mornings with feeding calves, but I asked her if she would help me this morning. So I bribed her with a little bit of coffee. I, I mean, it's coffee that I made. We didn't run to Starbucks for it. It's just a fun little Starbucks cup that you Tegan, have. like got it for Christmas or something one year from one of your friends yeah. yeah so thanks for being my helper yeah <laughs> what's wrong with him there he is. no nothing i just the, the video is acting weird oh your coat is coming off all right i know y'all are hungry okay you're soon gonna have to put your coffee down.
things going. Ah, can hardly wait. So we usually wait, if there's two guys in a, in a pen, if we need to get another bucket of milk, we usually wait to put the one up because they would be fighting over the one bucket of milk. So, sorry guys, still have to be patient. Rinsing out buckets. Cause these guys are all done. You two are messing with each other. It's just so funny. They just keep licking and licking. You're, there's nothing left. You've got that licked dry. It's just so good. Huh, it would help if I actually turn this on. There we go. Yummy orange sickle <laughs> electrolytes. We actually made a new spot for our guys that were weaning. We used to just wean them in the pens, in the individual huts there. But now, our guys that were weaning, we have all together here. Buddy, you gonna come over? We don't have four arms and four hands and four hands at the same time, so... Are the same age, but look at the size of this guy compared to come here. This guy. <laughs> They're the same age. I don't know why he's in pro. Um, Are you gonna stay kitten forever? But technically, he's like a full-grown cat, and he's. You guys really are little. sure they are born in the same litter? Yes, positive. Okay. We call this guy Big Chungus. What? Yeah. Tegan named him Big Chungus. Oh, Big Chungus? <laughs> big Chungus. Because he's big. Or maybe it's just because that guy's little. Maybe. <laughs>
fingers are cold. I didn't know you were a coffee drinker. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> That's it. I told her she doesn't usually help with Saturday mornings. If she helped me, we would make some coffee. Mom right offered. Take oh, coffee. Right there, that, that one right there. You're gonna touch your hand on. No, the next one. Yeah, bring that one. Okay. The rest of these guys, I'll, I'll give a shot to. This is where Kata sits when somebody takes her spot on the passenger seat. Huh. Behind the driver. Oh my. <laughs> been on borrowed time with our skid loader tires we have a new set ordered but they're not here yet but looks like we finished the one off so we're gonna throw the spare on we didn't used to have spares around but it's really helpful to have uh, have one here because gets us going especially because the other skid loader is broken again um, I was on my way to go get parts but got the call from Earl that we need to swing to change tires so We'll get her swapped out. Uh, morning workout. We need to go to the gym now. Yep. To get a headlight. Yeah. <laughs> really. Oh, look at that. So we were showing the belt, so we knew it was getting close, but these were actually new tires for us, a new a new type of tire. These were the um, BKT Jumbo Tracks, and they I think they've lasted as the longest of any tire that we've had on this loader. So we had like, um, it's like a little over a year on them, something like, like 1100 hours or something which seems pretty good. We're gonna try a different set next. <laughs> knee jack oh yeah <laughs> always better with some 1620 pants oh yeah look at that <laughs> hey Kimber are you helping out hmm moral support yeah the, the tire place went out of business and they had a bunch of junk laying around and they had these rims there so they said you can have them nice worked out good so we put one of our old the best of the old tires on it for this reason right here and are you otherwise otherwise we're calling a tire guy on a Saturday morning <laughs> he would probably come in a couple hours <laughs> right then we're stuck Like that there Back we are action. just like a pit crew yeah <laughs> <laughs> except it took 15 minutes not not 15 seconds. 15 seconds oh i can't turn that with one hand all right 
right. Look at that. We finished that one off for sure. Got all we could out of that one. I thought, man, this is as flat of a track as it can make. <laughs> I don't know why when you're looking out the window like that, you remind me of Mufasa. You're just looking out over the land. <laughs> All right, so that's a wrap, guys. Another Saturday morning feeding done for the calves. I had sent Kaylin in a little bit early before we went up top because she has piano lessons that we need to run her in for. So I told her she could get ready for that. And I told her she should practice because she's in the musical this year again, along with Jaron. He got to try out for the high school musical. They let junior hires and some of the elementary kids try out because it's the Wizard of Oz this year. Um, so anyway, she hasn't had a ton of time to practice her piano because of all the practice time that she has for the musical. So I'm going to go see if she's actually practicing her piano. You are practicing. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going? Good. Oh, look, so have your coffee. <laughs> Still sipping on that coffee. No. Play us a little song. <laughs> Gotta love Greatest Showman. All right, parts run. We're gonna go pick up some parts for the skid loader and get that other skid loader back in order and then we should be good to go. So we're in the Chevy Spark today when uh, I got this little car a couple years back to replace my Geo Metro. Mm, Geo Metro. Actually, I still have the Geo Metro and the, the vision is that we'll put that back together sometime, but right now the motor is out of it and the motor is apart. So we had cracked a valve in that, oh, years back and uh, so we jumped on getting this little spark and it's been working out great. And uh, this is gonna be Kaylin's car. So I have the spark to use here for a little bit yet. And then we're gonna have to uh, give it up a little bit to uh, for Kaylin to run around. But when the kids were little, they used to always talk about daddy's little car. Are we going in daddy's little car? <laughs> so it's kind of fun to think back. Here we are, daddy's little car, but not for long. I just gotta say, I love this car. This car is perfect for me. One of the things that really bugs me about consumer products today is that everything thinks they need to be multi-use. Multi-use means that you don't do anything well. And that's a bummer to me. So that's why we have, we have purpose-built vehicles to do the jobs that we need. So when we need a big pickup to, haul, to pull a big gooseneck, we got one of those. When we need some way to get all the way to the parts store and back as cheap and efficiently as possible, that's this car. But anyway, I love this car. We got this car a couple years ago and it is about as plain as it gets. Uh, it even has crank windows, which some of you may not even know what that is. But it's power nothing and efficiency, simplicity, everything which I love. Practical to the core. It's a little bit of a bummer that I'm gonna have to give it up some for Kaylin, but it'll be a great car for her. It's stick shift, so she's got learning how to drive stick. She's actually doing a really good job with it. And I thought that was an important part of starting off as a driver that you have that skill. So this is perfect for that. And it's a pretty comfortable car. I mean, it does have air conditioning, which is a step up from the Geo Metro. And it has Apple CarPlay, which is awesome. That's the best vehicle electronics that they've come up with yet. I don't need any more electronics in my car. All I need to do is project my phone. I have all the brains I need right in my pocket. So just plug it in and you're good to go. So that's perfect. Apple CarPlay and air conditioning are the two luxury items that this car has. And other than that, nothing. It doesn't even have cruise. But 
it does get on average around 40, 42 miles to the gallon. So that's pretty awesome. Especially when you're just running around. I don't need to drive my big diesel pickup all the way to the parts store when I can run this thing. So that's why I love the Spark. Hopefully we can keep her around for a while. The only thing I don't really love about the, about the Spark is the color. All right, that was super fast. They had everything all ready for us. Went in there, it was sitting on the counter, all ready to go, so we're headed back home. So this was a cylinder rod end that we had repaired a little while back just to get us going. Um, the, the rod end had broke open and we welded it back together and that bought us uh, a couple months, but uh, it's time to get her switched out. All right, we almost had that back together, but I had to run out. We're sending another load of cattle out today, so I'm gonna meet the truck over here at the scales. And I got to the end of the lane and the truck is right behind me. So that timing worked out perfect. We're headed to the scales, then we'll put those cattle on and it's back to the shop. We got the new fencing put up. If you remember last video down here, we had to make some temporary fence here, but now it should be all set. So we'll see how it goes loading with the new setup here. Okay, we need 17 of you guys for the first batch. Hey, 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 come on. Oh boy. Let's see, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Hip, hip, hip. Hey guys, come on. Hip, hip. Hey guys, come on. Hip. Yeah, the front is not going. All right, let's try again. Should have scraped out in here a little bit. It's gonna get splashed. Oh boy. Hip, hip, hip. Hey guys, hey, hey. Hip. Look at that. Jumped right over the water. Hey. Hip, 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 hip. There we go, there we go. Hey, hip, 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 hip. Hip, hip, hey guys, hip, 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 hey, hey, hip, 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 hip. all right. Wait for the trucker to get ready. Set. All right, one more group. One. Two, three, four, five. Try to stand up here this time so I don't jump over the water. Hey. Hey guys, come on. Somebody's gotta see it. Hip, it's not over here. Keep looking. Oh, not in that side of the gate. Hip. There you go. There it is. Maybe not. Hip. Hey, 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 hey. 
Hey, get out of here. Hey, come on. Hey, hey. Hey guys, hip, 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 hip. There we go, there we go. There they're going. Hip, hey guys, hey, hey, hey. Hip, 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 hip. Hey, hey. Hip, hip, hey, hey. Hip, hey guys, hey. Oh boy, coming back. Try it again. You. Hey guys, come on. Somebody's gotta follow through here. Hey. Hey, there it is, there it is, come on. Hip, 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 hey. Hey guys, come on, hey. Hey guys, come on here. That's it, that's it. Hey, no, oh no. Oreo. Hey, hey, come on. Hey guys, hey, 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 there it is. Hey, 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 come on. Hey buddy, hey buddy. Oh, not there, not there. Hey. Hip. There it is. Hip, 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 hip. Hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Hip, 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 hip. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, all right, that went pretty good. Another load on the truck. Just gonna put some gates back here and then we'll head back. So we got the cylinder all fixed up, but what I realized is it looks like that it snapped the quick disconnect on the bucket. This is the cylinder that runs the quick disconnect and it snapped, snapped the end off there. I think what happened when the, when the cylinder broke, it slammed down in and this, this rod runs in behind, behind that spot, broke that too. So see if we can get this welded back together. All right, we got that all welded up, but I'm gonna put this together tomorrow. So we're gonna call it quits for tonight and uh, we'll pick up tomorrow. See you guys.